Join me, friends, as I redo this Dollar Tree Plus crate for my daughter. Hey, everybody, it's Colette with Blessing Craft Therapy, if you didn't know. And if you did, thank you so much for coming back. So here's the crate. It was from the Dollar Tree Plus area. And I paint it with some chalk paint, the sides, the inside, everything. Then I take this napkin from Joanne Fabrics, and I get it to one ply. And then we're going to get our crate, and we're going to put Mod Podge on the bottom, let it dry. Then we're gonna put our napkin in. Now, this is where things went awry. I, I gotta be honest, when I'm watching this now, I have like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? So I iron on the napkin. I put a little parchment paper over it to protect it, but see, that activates the Mod Podge, perfect. There's no wrinkles, it's awesome. Then we're going to use my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna cut off the excess. Here's where we went wrong. I'm like, what in... Now that I'm redoing the voiceover and I'm watching this, I'm like, why in the world did I not just put the Mod Podge on and not cut that napkin off? I don't know, friends. I don't know. Apparently, I have a thing for making things more difficult for myself. So <laughs> love me through it. If I were to do this again, I would obviously not cut the napkin. I would just continue it up the side. But in this case, I put Mod Podge down, then I let it dry just like I did the bottom, and then we iron on the napkin. I was matching up the sides. That's why it was important. And I'm thinking I should not have cut it. Whatever, whatever. But you get the gist, right? So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I sand off the edges of that top one. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to do the Mod Podge, let it dry. And then we're going to use a piece of the napkin. And I'm going to try to match up the design so that it continues all the way up the side. I only did the big sides. I didn't do the handle sides because I'm going to be using some jute to make that kind of pretty. So here's that. And again, I use parchment paper on it to protect it. You may not even have to do that. but And I also did the very typical top of it thought it looked cute that way and then we just sand off the excess like we did the other side perfect hooray and let me tell you this napkin whew, it is so cute adorable my daughter has a thing for um mushrooms so and then what i'm doing here is i'm just rem i'm i use my exacto knife to kind of make a cut in the napkin and then i use my emery board to go over it so that it's sanded and then i go over it again with my iron just to make sure that it's really applied now i did an extra layer of mod podge on top but i don't even think you have to do that i really don't think you have to um and then i took some jute and i wrapped it around the handle just at the top well, how else would you do <laughs> that was silly <laughs> You get what I'm saying. I wrapped the jute and then I just glue down the end and quit it. Look at how adorable this is. The, I mean, it was a little bit of a pain in the tushy to do the sides because I made it more challenging for myself. But come on, this is so cute. I love it so much. But look at this is what we're going to use it for. My daughter wanted to use it for her crocheted plushies. So she has these little mushrooms and little frogs and little strawberries and of course her chickens. This just is cute as a bot and I love it. And more importantly, she loves it. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this inspires you. And now it's your turn. Go make something pretty.